Every now and then, a company comes along and decides to innovate in such a disruptive way that it causes a rift in the very fabric of time and space. Apple is known for this and has done this many times, whether it was removing the headphone jack from iPhones or the optical drive from laptops. And whether we all knew it or not, it was actually better for all of us to just move on beyond these silly technological limitations. And this is exactly what Sony has done with the new Sony A9 Mark III. The latest camera from Sony features the world's first full frame global shutter. There are no shutter blades at all, but more importantly, it captures the image by exposing all the pixels at the same time. Yeah, did you know that all other digital professional cameras have a rolling shutter where the image is captured in a linear way across the sensor? And this is due to the amount of data typically being pushed through the readout process from the sensor to the processors within, within the camera because there's just so much data. But now we've got this new stacked backside illuminated CMOS sensor that is 24.6 megapixels that has no rolling shutter. This provides significantly faster performance that is void of motion distortions typically seen on other cameras. So it supports blazing fast, continuing shooting speeds up to 120 frames a second and offers shutter speeds up to 80 thousandth of a second with flash sync. This revolutionary design will benefit sports photographers, wildlife photographers, news photographers, event photographers, even commercial and editorial photographers, I think, will benefit from this. So if you're looking for that creative advantage when working with high speed subjects, or if, if you're in difficult lighting situations, this camera is for you, the Sony A9 Mark III. And this is done by utilizing these new Bions XR processors within this camera, allowing 14-bit full res raw still images up to 120 frames a second while also maintaining autofocus and auto exposure with no blackout. We also gain a really cool feature that a lot of us iPhone users have in, the, in our back pocket, and that is called pre-capture, which means that for a full second before you actually push down on the shutter, it's actually capturing images for you just in case that bird decides to just fly off that branch at that precise moment before your brain can react. So cool to finally have that in a professional camera, especially a $6,000 one. And for you video shooters, they, they didn't hold out. We have 120 frames a second 4K with no crop, internal S-Log3, S-Cinetone, 10-bit 422, boom. So if you shoot 4K, this camera's for you, and if you shoot 4K 60, it's going to downsample from 6K, which means you're going to get a super sharp, punchy, high quality video image. And the new A93 borrows from the A7R5, which I have right here. So it's gaining the same autofocus AI processing unit in the A7R5. So we got 759 point phase detection with 96% coverage of the sensor and we also get eight stops of IBIS and ergonomically speaking we get a chunkier grip that is even more comfortable in the hand and we get that same flippy screen that's on the a7r5 oh I love the flippy screen on the a7r5 and we get that magnesium body with weather sealing this is truly an exciting era in photography this really means a new chapter has been unlocked for all of us photographers. It's, it's been opened up for us. So some of these mechanical limitations of photography and how things used to work, well, those are finally gone. So it's really cool to see how a company like Sony is, is not scared. They're pushing the limits and allowing us creators to do even more amazing work in a more efficient way. So I think having the A9 Mark III in your bag 
will give you more confidence out in the field without having to worry about those limitations. Not having to worry about rolling shutter in your photos or video. Not having to worry about if part of your image is darkened due to flash sync limitations or if your 4K video is cropped or if that crappy artificial lighting in that sports arena is going to screw up all your images. This camera really is all about removing those limitations altogether and allowing us creators to never miss a moment. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by today to just hear my quick thoughts on this new Sony A9 Mark III. As a photographer and fellow creative, it's fun to see where the next few years are going to take us in both photography and video. And if you haven't already, please take a short moment to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I drop a new video. And I'll see all of you guys on my next one.